everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and I am joined by Kenzie once again. Hello. I'm so happy to be back once again. And I'm happy to have you as my guest again. <laughs> <laughs> so, the wheel has blessed us with another great decision, and this one yep. is a very canon ship of Bridget and Jeff. Uh, classic. I believe this is literally the only ship that, like, lasted. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I can't wait to see how this works out. Same. We did pick up a, a very fine book. Mm hmm And it, this one is called Wouldn't It Be Nice? A complete book featuring Bridget and Jeff. Very interesting. Mm hmm All right. I'm intrigued to see how this turns out. Me too. I love the tags. I didn't realize that Jeff's and Bridget's ship name was Gidget. <laughs> yeah, Gidget or Gidget. <laughs> Alright, the description reads, Meet Jeff, a party boy who can reel in any female human being with a wink, but he hates hippies after a bad breakup with one. Meet Bridget, a super attractive hippie girl who is kind to every animal known to man. Humans not as much. When these two clash at a cafe, an unforgettable adventure starts, full of fun times, happy times, and sad times. That does sound pretty good. And I, I very did inter skim. Very interesting. Okay. I did skim, so it looked pleasant to my eyes. So hopefully we get some nice content. <laughs> yes, hopefully. All right, so this is just a quick note, but now we're on to chapter one. All right. All right, uh, who would like to start this? Or we can be fancy and I can flip my remote to see who goes first. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, do you want to be the buttons or the batteries? <laughs> I guess the batteries. Okay. Oh, shit, it landed sideways. <laughs> All right. It's buttons. Okay. Okay. All right, chapter one, just with the... The normal one, like the Roman numerals. All right. All right. Jeff's point of view. I woke up to the sound of an alarm clock, so I waverly put it on snooze. I rolled over on my side and saw a blonde girl with a bandana on her hair. She looked down to see the top. Of <laughs> I looked down to see the top of her enormous breast squishing against huh? the sheets. I oh scored gosh. pretty good. I was, <laughs> I was oh, not expecting oh, that. <laughs> Did you see me hesitate? Yes. <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> Bro just woke up. <laughs> right? Like, what? <laughs> Wait, it said this girl had a, a blonde girl with a bandana. Did he fuck Lindsay? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it says, uh, rolled over, saw a blonde girl with a bandana on her hair. Yo, what Oh my that? god! <laughs> what the heck? I smiled and rolled out of bed, not wanting to wake her up. I put on my pants and grabbed my, my brown cowboy hat, shirt, and my sandals. I walked into the bedroom to see the usual, Courtney and Duncan sleeping on the couch. <sighs> God damn it. His hand was over one of her chest and her, and his, and her, I don't want to read <laughs> And her hand in his pants. I threw my hat at the happy couple, causing Duncan to wake up. He snored and said, <laughs> "What? I know. I, <laughs> I checked. This thing did not list it as mature. <laughs> this is just weird." <laughs> For a second, that I just saw her boobs and her hand. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I said chest to get around that, and I'm like, oh, well, that was a close one that I kept reading. I'm like, oh my god, no, I can't get around that. <laughs> He, s he snored and said, dude, ten more minutes. He threw the hat back at me, grabbed Courtney, and rolled over. Dude, the fuss is gonna be- the fuzz is gonna be coming soon. Don't you wanna get busted by your dad again? I said, putting on my shirt. <sighs> what a- what a great start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was- I was not ready for any of that at all. <laughs> me either. <laughs> The, the, the description made it sound so nice. <laughs> right? 
god, this is as funny as the Al Tyler one that we did. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Alright, uh, would you like oh to to gosh. to take over reading or uh, or no? <laughs> um, I'll go. I guess I'll go ahead and take over. Okay. <laughs> and without trying to laugh too hard. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> Courtney, wake up! He said, sit sitting up, putting on a shirt. Hmm. She said, rubbing her head as she sat up. Morning, princess. He said, smiling and kissing her on on her forehead. You look gorgeous as usual. T tell that to my tell that to my zits that that are gonna pop up. I I slept in foundation again. She said, smiling and cocking her head. Hurry up, lovebirds! The cops are probably gonna be here any minute. We were really loud. We were really loud, and and, and they all they always checked later for drugs. And drugs <laughs> are definitely here. I said, slipping on my sandals. Okay, okay, but where's my dress, Duncan? She asked, pulling up the blankets on the couch further. You mean your short, sexy black one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, smirking. Oh my gosh. She rolled her eyes. Yes, Duncan, that one. Here, he responded, p p picking it up from the floor. Thanks, now turn around so I can get dressed, she demanded. I immediately turned around. And covered my hat over my face for for extra so Courtney would beat the crap out of me. <laughs> Why, Courtney asked. Dun dun Duncan, she growled. It's not like I have it Whoa <laughs> I think it's implied it's not like I have a God, I think it's implied that they had they did it <laughs> and they were just it's sleeping implied. on the couch. <laughs> God, <laughs> this is the best fan fiction ever. <laughs> this went from zero to a hundred in one paragraph at the very beginning. <laughs> I did not see all this coming. Holy shit! Yeah, I the tags even said like it just said Jeff Bridget Digit Romance Total Drama. There was no <laughs> indication that it was gonna be like this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm, I am scared now. Me too. Oh. <laughs> the next things you should hear was a quiet warrior scream, a groan in pain, and Duncan hitting the floor. <laughs> Got you, princess, he said. Pain in his voice as he crawled over besides me. Can you get me the balls again, I asked. Oh my god. <laughs> you know it, he responded. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should stop being a perv, I said. Would you, would you like things everything with the <laughs> Stop. Would you would you like no. me to read now? No, what am I reading? <laughs> if you want, I could take over. <laughs> okay, yes, please, please do. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> oh man. Hey, hey. Only naturally bored female humans, I responded. Okay, I'm done. Duncan can zip it up, she said about three minutes later. As we both turned around to see her pulling the hair off of the back and, junk and Duncan jumped up. <sighs> God damn. <laughs> Going no bra? He asked seductively, zipping up the dress. I came here without one, she replied lustfully. <laughs> Immediately after dipping it up, they started... <laughs> I can't take this seriously anymore. <laughs> but I got it. At least it's nice to read, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, let's go. <laughs> Good lord. God. Guys, let's go. I said, causing them to pull apart. Oh, right. To be continued, she responded, pulling her. Pulling a. Oh, putting a finger on his lips, smiling and walking away. I love that woman. He mumbled while I rolled my eyes. Great party, Owen, dude. <laughs> Call us if you want to throw another one. I said, giving the o giving the obese man who was throwing up in the trash can a half five. <laughs> Poor Owen. <laughs> Why'd you call him obese? <laughs> 
no problem, Jeff. It was an honor to have extre an extreme partier like you here, he responded. Thanks. Well, catch you later, dude. I, I said, opening the door while he waved. That was a pretty rad party, said Duncan, trailing behind me. Oh, you say that every time, even if they suck. But it's because every time you get to bang Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> Not every time. <laughs> Not every time, responded Courtney, crossing her arms. Besides, it's not like we don't do it. Ugh, God damn, hold on. <laughs> Besides, it's not like we don't do that in the apartment anyway. <laughs> said the Duncan, earning the hard blow from Courtney's elbow to his gut. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God, what? why? Yo, I don't even. <laughs> God. Besides, oh I wait, we were, I already read that. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have to share a room with you. T with the two of you. <laughs> god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, maybe you should get a girlfriend you can screw every time we have a party. At the rate you're going, one of your one night stairs is going to give you herpes or something, said Courtney. Because commitment is not, like, my thing, dudette. It's too much work getting to admit they like you. I mean, look at you two. It took you six years to admit it, I said. Well, me admitted it, and look where we are now, Jeff. You're 22, going on 23. You need to settle down with someone, she said. Like, uh, at least, at least they're adults. <laughs> yes. I was a goodness. little worried. <laughs> Oh, I was about to say, what I'm in like, the world? I was like, dude, they're 16. <laughs> at, the, at the least. <laughs> Thank goodness they, like, admit. Thank goodness they confirmed it, though. <laughs> yes. Thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Would you, would you like to read now? <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, go ahead. All right, you're okay. You're doing the Lord's work here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do do that, do that. That's for the thirties. I'm still a young, attractive college kid who can score my, who can score any girl he wants. I responded. R really now? Then let's test that man. There's a cafe over there. Me and Cordy, ha me and Cordy have to choose a girl. You can su you can successfully score with her. You. You get a hundred. We, we don't care how long it takes, said Duncan. Seriously, I said, starting to chuckle. Dead serious, man, he said, s starting to walk over to the cafe. Dude, you might as well hit. You might as well hand over it now, I, I said, opening the door. We'll see, he said, following behind me. I entered the cafe, and the first thing, thing, thing my eyes, my, my eyes laid side on was an Asian girl's. What ass? <laughs> Is it Heather? Oh my gosh. Jeez, at least try to do some squats. Oh my gosh. Damn. <laughs> she then turned around and had a gorgeous face, so I smirked at her and sat down at, at a table. Duncan and Courtney followed. Okay, dude. Give me the Asian. She's a fucking hottie, I said. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really gonna call her the Asian. Well, they don't know her name, but th that seems kind of racist to say that. <laughs> exactly, I was thinking the same thing. You like, could just bro. say, give me that girl. <laughs> it would have been a little <laughs> nicer. You could have just said, give me that girl, not the Asian. <laughs> <laughs> they looked at each other and shook their heads. Come on, please, I begged. No, we get to choose, said Courtney, smiling. Hey, hey, how about her, said Duncan, pointing to a blonde girl sitting alone at a table. Her hair was was long and wavy, looking almost crimped. She had, go she had gorgeous golden eyes, staring aimlessly at the window. She was wearing a green tank top, white shorts, and a purple belt. Her legs were long, tan, and skinny. Then again, her whole body was skinny. Yeah, yeah, Jeff. Go work your magic on her," said Courtney, while while I while I look look back at the couple. Looked. 
Better get your money ready, dude, I said, getting up from the table. I walked over to her with her eyes drifted from the window to me. I I noticed you were alone and third wheeling and third wheeling is not really that much fun. Can I sit with you? I asked, shoving up my hat with a sexy pose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, she she said, smiling weakly. <laughs> cool, thanks, dudet. Dudet, I said, looking back at Duncan and Courtney. Turns out they were too busy making out to notice I was one step closer to getting her number. Bridget, she said. Bridget, she said, sticking out her, her hand. I I took it in mine. Her her hands felt like silk. Jeff, I responded I responded, smiling. That's an un, that's an unusual name, she said, smiling. Yeah, yeah, well it's well it's what my mama gave me, I said. Causing her to laugh. Gee, jeez, her laugh was cute. I looked out the window to 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 see a Jamaican, <laughs> a ginger boy, and a small platinum blonde holding up signs. They read "Save Our Animals" or "Peace on Earth." Well, one even said, "Keep Earth alive, or you're or you're gonna die." <laughs> I scoffed. Hippies, I hate him. She started to look at me angrily. Why do you hate hippies? Do doesn't it annoy you how they're always saying that internal peace shit? Even even though they even though they know it will never happen, I said, while she stood up angrily. Ooh, Why don't you try? We horrible hippies do do what we do what we believe in and you probably couldn't even and you probably couldn't even stand up for yourself if you if you needed to take a pit you need to take a piss and the line was full, she said. She said, walking away. I was stunned. Did she ignore my charm? Dude, that was not charm at all. What are you going on? <laughs> Maybe it's what he got but, to, like used to pick up all the ladies. <laughs> he just goes over and hates groups. <laughs> right. <laughs> Typical Jeff, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at her sil I looked at her silhouette leave the cafe. Du Duncan broke broke off from their makeout session and said, "Looks like someone's not getting paid or laid." <laughs> I started to get a little angry, but at the same time a little what? on. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a real challenge. I'm gonna get this girl to like me, no matter what. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. God, I'm I never laughed so hard at a beginning pair like a beginning chapter in my life. <laughs> Same. I was really not expecting any of that. I really thought it was just gonna be some cute little fanfic thing. I was not I didn't think they would take it that far. Me either, but <laughs> But I'm enjoying every moment of this. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, chapter two. Um, I, I guess I'll be brave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Bridges' point of view. I stormed outside of the cafe angrily, walking to Don, DJ, and Scott. What did hippies ever do to him? Oh, those are the guys that are holding the signs. Okay, I understand Don and DJ being considered hippies, but Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, though, like... Scott was, like, a weird choice. I feel like Harold would probably yeah. be a better pick if for, like, Honestly, if yeah. it had to be Ginger, but... Right. <laughs> What's wrong, Bridget? Your aura says you're angry, asked Dawn, putting down her sign. Nothing, I said, storming into our portable trailer. I slammed the door shut and slumped down on our love seat, sinking into it as if it were quicksand. Don didn't open the door and then took a seat next to me. Bridget, you can't hide anything from me. Your aura is maroon. Anger. What's wrong? Said Don, trying to console me. I then sat up out of the, out of the comfortable cushions to see Don looking like a counselor. I was sitting in the cafe getting the getting my usual when a cowboy-looking guy came up and came in and cowboy. let me tell you he wasn't ugly. 
he came over because his friends were making out and we were and then we talked for a bit and he said you guys outside and started talking shit about hippies right in front of my face see this is why i don't like people they judge everyone all the time and even though they don't know them animals are different turtles dolphins even sharks they never talk crap about you i said you mean that cowboy she responded, pointing at Jeff standing outside, arguing with DJ and Scott. <laughs> what the? Uh, Are, what the? Why is he yelling at them? They didn't do anything. Exactly. What, like, what? What the? I replied, walking up to the window. He must have seen me because he waved and smiled goofily. Drive, I said, backing away from the window. <laughs> what? Don, res Don responded. Drive, I said, running towards the steering wheel. I started the engine and then the door opened, revealing a panting Jeff. B Bridget, he said between pants. Ah! I screamed, pressing the acceleration and driving towards the street. Bridget, stop! screamed Dawn, flying around. I didn't pay attention to her, but looked out in the mirror. I saw Scott frantically running towards the trailer with DJ behind him. Scott would kill me if I hurt Dawn. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> By this sentence alone, does this mean that this this author ships Scott and Don together? I think it is. Oh no! Oh, We're doomed. It's... No. Why? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we can't have anything. <laughs> Would you, would you like to, to read now? Sure. Alrighty. I decided and parked into the McDonald's parking lot. I, I got out of the driver's seat and walked angrily up to Jeff. What are you doing here? I said, looking at him with wide eyes. I wanted to say I was sorry for being so mean to you. For mean, mean to you and your people, he said. My people? I responded. Do I look like an Indian? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Don, said Scott, r rushing in and running up to Don, who stuck between the cushions of the couch. Scott? S said Don, her voice muffled by the thick cushion. Scott immediately pu pulled her out and, and, and took her into a tight hug. What the hell is going on? asked Scott angrily. Scott, calm down. I am fine, said Don, lo looking up into his eyes. After he, retur after he returned the gaze... His face immediately retorted into his regular face. Jeff, Jeff, I think you should leave, I said, put, putting my hands on my hips. Wait, I wanted to say I was so sorry about all the hippie stuff, man. I was just in a, I was just in a relationship got, gone bad with one, and it, hurts to, and it hurts to look at hippies now, he said, rubbing the, rubbing the, back, of, rubbing the back of his neck awkwardly. I looked at him, stunned by a sudden outburst. I forgive you, I said, putting a hand on his shoulder. He looked up at me, wide-eyed. Really, he said. Yeah, but you have to know, not all hippies are like the one you dated, I said. Which one did you date, anyway, said Scott. Scott, responded Don and I, not w not w wanting Jim to go, to go back to the... Do to the Darn feel feeling of a bad relationship. Before Jeff could respond, DJ opened the door. Hey, gu hey guys, guess what I found? He said eagerly, holding the lump in his shirt. Let me guess, another squirrel, said Scott, letting go of Don. Wrong, I found a rabbit, he said, pulling out an adorable gray bunny with one ear damage. Oh, I said, leaving, leaving Je Jeff and walking over to the creature. I think I want to name him Bunny," said DJ, <coughs> choking, choking the rabbit's other ear. "Bunny, how unique!" Oh, oh wait, "Bunny, how unique!" said Scott, sarcasm in his voice. <laughs> I, "I, I think it is very adorable," said Don, walking over. "Yeah, he's pretty cute," said Jeff, walking over. "Whoa, you're that crazy kid that wanted to talk to Bridge." Man, how many times do I have to start a DJ? <clears throat> I'm Jeff, he interrupted, sticking out his hand. Devin James, but you can call me DJ, he responded, <coughs> sh 
shaking Jeff's hand with, with his free with his free one. Wait, wait a minute. Is that DJ's canon name? I don't think it is. I, I thought it was Devin Joseph. Okay. But maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. I didn't think it stood for anything. I thought his actual just name was DJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. But. Anyway. I I rolled my eyes. DJ can't even be me without forgetting and dropping the whole thing. He was so forgiving. Cool, man. I'm gonna scat. Can I meet you at the same cafe tomorrow, Bridget? Asked Jeff, pushing up his brown hat. My eyes widened. You s you still want to talk to me after I went crazy? I said, referring to the accident in the car. Do that. It's fine. Le let's just say let's just say you don't want you don't want to be around Cordy when she's moody. Who 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 she'll throw chairs at you? He said, laughing. Is that your ex? Is that your ex? Asked Don, walking up to him, hitty in her eyes. No, no, no. Cordy's my best, my best friend's girlfriend. I have an apartment with them, he said. Oh, I see, said Don, smiling and walking back to, to Scott's side. So, same diner at noon, I said, a smiling growing on, growing on my lips. Sure, see you then, she said, wa waving and walking out the door. I felt, butter I felt butterflies in my stomach as he grinned and shut the door. He seems pretty nice, said Don D and DJ. Yeah, y yeah, but he said some very hurtful things at the cafe. I said, re remembering all the tr all the trash he said about hippies. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but you forgave him. Hey, oh my gosh, Bridget, you you actually forgave a stranger? Said Don. I mean, you actually forgave a stranger, said Don. Said Don, happily clapping. Whoa, Bridget forgave someone? Said Scott. You you were here, man. You were here, man, I said. And you have a day with him? A and you have a date with him? Said Don happily. I felt my cheeks redden as the word date escaped her lips. It's not really a date. Like he said, he doesn't like hippies, I said. Sure, sure. We're going to set up set up base in, since we're here. You, you guys got the signs? Asked DJ, while while Don and Scott nodded. I'll pass. It's been a long day, and it's not even the end. I said, slumping into the couch. You sure? Asked DJ while I nodded. Okay. Well, if you need anything, we'll be outside. He said, walking out of the door with the rest of them. I laid on the couch, thinking of the cowboy. Why did I forgive him? You, you may like him. You. You can't like someone you just met. Love at first sight? Not real. You sure? You sure? Yes. Okay, okay. Good. Let me sleep. The bad thing was I fell asleep thinking about a certain little blonde cowboy <laughs> named Jeff. Okay. Cute. Okay. I'm feeling good about that second paragraph. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> I... I... I can't believe Dot was part of this. <laughs> can't believe it's Same. canon in this fan fiction. <laughs> right, me, me neither. Um. <laughs> hey, but this this is a win for uh, Dunkney uh, shippers True. out there too. True. Oh my god, I can see it now. Like, and I can see through like my future vision that she's gonna find out. Like, this is what there was a bet to try to get laid with her, and she's gonna be super pissed. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I can see it happening. <laughs> oh, me too. Oh, no. poor, poor Bridget. She's going to get her heart broken. Right? Poor Bridge. All right, chapter three. I kind of wish these had titles, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jeff's point of view. Let's see what we're, we're working with. Here. As long as it's not like the first chapter, we should be yes. fine. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I started to walk back to the parking lot to the cafe. It was only within the first hour we'd met, and I've already sp she already split my heart out of her. Oh, and I've already sp split my heart out to her. Okay. 
Look who's back, said Duncan, walking over with his arm wrapped around Courtney. Guess what, dude? Date number two is a go, I said, bump, fist bumping him. Really? She looked really pissed at you in the cafe, said Courtney, sp skeptical. Yeah, man, I guess she's forgiving. She's a hippie after all, I said. Duncan and Courtney looked at each other with funny looks in their eyes and then back at me. What? I said. We'll have a double date to see if you're lying or not, they said in unison. A double date? Dudes, I don't know, I said, scratching the back of my head, my, my neck awkwardly. We're the ones... We were the ones who quote unquote introduced you to her, introduced her to you, man. We should at least get to see what she look, what she's like," said Duncan, folding his arms. I sighed. "I guess, dudes, but don't you dare embarrass me in front of her." Duncan raised a free arm and surrender. "Fine, dude." I let out a sigh of relief. Why did I care so much about her when she's practically a dare to date? When it's a, practically a dare to date her. Oh. <laughs> God, I can see it now. Like, like they're going to get together. He's going to fall in love with her. Then it's going to get revealed that it was, like, a dare. And then they're going to split. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna oh, be no. That's going to suck. Oh, shit. It's going to be, like, spoilers for the new season. Um, This is going to be, like, Priya and, me and, and Millie. How, like, Millie was using Priya to, like... Oh. To, like, get research, and then she's like, you know what? Screw it. And then it turns out, like, it comes back to bite her in the ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is going to so be just true. like it. <laughs> oh, no. I'm calling oh, it. No. Ten bucks says that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's totally going to happen. I'm anticipating it right now. All right, I guess this is a little bit of a time skip. Let's see. I got out of the apartment wearing my nice... What the fuck does that say? Hockey. Damn it. Khaki. khaki. I didn't know yeah, khaki. khaki was spelled like that. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, khaki shorts with an unbuttoned blue paid shirt. This time with a loose white muscle, muscle tank underneath it. This time I was also wearing my white cowboy hat and an expensive cologne. If this such a casual date then why are you so dressed up man said duncan this isn't fancy man i replied that's the same outfit you wore to graduation he said quirking an eyebrow guys i'm ready said courtney coming out of the bathroom she was a messy bun with a braid around it showing off her natural highlights she was also wearing a short sleeve aeropostle shirt with the with a I think freighted? Yeah, freighted them shorts and some Nike flip flops. Wait a minute, Nike makes flip flops? <laughs> that seems so weird. Wait, they do? Hold on, I gotta look it up. Hold on. Do they? Uh, no, let me see. Nike flip flops. Because, like, I know them for, like, making, like, sneakers. Oh my sneakers. god, they do. They, they look do? weird. No way. Yo. They're, they're like athletic ones. That way, like, when you're done playing, like, baseball or basketball, you can take off your right. cleats and then you slip these on. Okay, that makes sense. I was thinking, like, like beach flip-flops. <laughs> same. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Duncan was wearing a... What the fuck does that say? He was wearing a shirt with a pair of tan cargo shorts and some neutral sandals. His now mohawkless hair had a natural bedhead look, and his facial piercings really stood out. <laughs> Sorry, just reading the next sentence. <laughs> just Wait, looking at it. <laughs> huh? Wait, which one? It's the uh, babe. You look so hot. <laughs> Duncan oh, okay. eyeing his girlfriend babe? up and down. <laughs> babe, just... you look so hot," said Duncan, eyeing his girlfriend up and down. I, I, I just like read it and like in my head before saying it out loud I'm like oh my god <laughs> I hope this doesn't do anything <laughs> <laughs> so do you she said licking her lips <laughs> licking her <laughs> lips as she f walked up to him but then later started making out while I facepalm myself <laughs> <laughs> guys let's go I said breaking them apart 
They quickly quit their kissing and followed me. Followed me and followed me out to my blue 1970s but he has an old ass car <laughs> right say 1970s so i'm surprised that thing still works <laughs> right <laughs> are you ever going to get rid of this old thing said Cor- asked courtney getting in the back seat with duncan really do it it's a classic i said listening to the engine start up a roar is that the thing zoe gave you as Duncan pointing at the hula girl the, on my uh, dashboard. Duncan! screamed Corny, hitting his shoulder. It's fine, Duncan. You can toss it if you want, I said, feeling a little hurt by her name. You sure, man? asked Duncan. Yeah, it's not like I'm sentimental about it, I replied. Okay, dude, he said, grabbing the small hula blob and throwing it outside the window. That is littering! <laughs> exactly. I looked over to see the porcelain doll break into bits on the cold, hard, the cold, hard concrete. Flashback. Wait, wait, the, 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 the hippie he dated was Zoe? <laughs> wait, what? I think that's what? what they're saying. Is that he dated Zoe and she was, I guess she is kind of considered a hippie. <laughs> I mean, yeah. She's like the indie chicks. So that makes sense. Yeah. Wow, I cannot believe that. <laughs> Alright, I, th- I think I'm done reading <laughs> You can start okay. with the flashback Jeffy Jeffy <laughs> Guess what day it is Said Zoe running over to me As her red pigtails Pigtails bobbled up and down What day do that I said r- Wrapped my arm ar- around her at- As she got closer It's your birthday silly She said Hiding a bag behind her back. It's my birthday. I, it's my birthday? I, I asked. Yeah, did you forget or something? She said, fiddling with her plastic bag. Eh, it's a year older. That that means closer to death. I don't want to die w- without settling down with you, I said, smiling as she blushed. Oh, that's so sweet, she said as she jumped, as she jumped up and gave me a peck on the lips. I smiled and... I smiled as her soft as her soft lips pressed against mine, e- even if it was only for a second. I have something for you, she said, reaching into her bag. Really, Zoe? You didn't have to, I said, scra- scratching scratching the nape of my neck awkwardly. But but I wanted to because I love you, she said, pulling a porcelain pulling a porcelain hula doll out of the bag. It had pale skin with red hair and with red hair w- w- with a flower in her hair. <laughs> she had a typical gr- grass skirt w- with a maroon crop top t- tied with brown strings up uh, 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 brown strings up to the neck. She also pulled out my favorite oldies band t- CD, The Beach Boys Pet Peeves. Ooh, nice. So, I love it. Thanks, darling, I said. But pulling her into a hug and swinging her around. She, 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 she laughing as her body flew midair before being put back down. Ah, Jeff, she said, squishing my cheeks together. I then cupped her face and, and pulled her into a kiss. Yep. Okay. Mike, you mean you, you you mean that chump at the gas station? I said I said furiously as I slammed my my hand on the counter. <gasps> Jeff, Jeff, I love him. He promised to take me places. Show me show me things I never seen. Something something you never did. She retorted as a tear as a tear rolled down her face. You could have at at least broken up with me fir- first. First, not not just say. Oh, by the way, I'm flying you to the U.S. And I've been cheating on you for the past year, Oh my I said. god, the oh, drama! Damn. <laughs> damn, Zoe, why'd you, gotta, why'd you gotta do my boy Jeff like that? Holy shit. <laughs> you wouldn't have listened. He's different, she said. So, okay, so? 
that is so wrong to like that if is, that is just no like zoe why also the bike's not really that great <laughs> it's not cheating's never great period <laughs> I looked at her. Her hair was now long and, and, and in a braid with flowers all, all in it. Her long red dress paired with brown sandals and, and, and a small eco-friendly jacket. Tears streamed down her face as she whispered his name. She disgusted me. I thought hippies weren't supposed, supposed to be whores. <gasps> but, but you proved me wrong on that one too, I said, clenching my fist. Jeff, Jeff, stop and please. Please. Let me leave without without guilt, she said, whimpering. You get out of my house and go away. And if you ever think of running your ass back here, <laughs> then don't. Because I literally drop you off in the middle in the middle of of of, of nowhere like like the bitch you are. I oh said. my god! <laughs> Teeth clenched. Oh my word! The fucking <laughs> drama right now. This I is know, some hot hey. tea, my guy. Just got ang got angst got real angsty real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Je Jeff, she whimpered, dro dropping to her knees. Get out of my house, I said, about to blow up. Jeff, get the fuck out of my house! <laughs> I screamed, grabbing her by her braid and dragging her across the hardwood floor. Bro, that's a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like damn, Jeff. She screamed and cried for Mike, but but I then lifted lifted her up and shoved her out of my door, almost slamming the door on her. Good lord! I got to the counter and saw all the pictures of Zoe and I. Ha all the pictures of Zoe and I happy. I threw them I, I threw them all away or against the wall. Fuck her and her stupid Mike. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> present point of view i looked back into the road onto the road and continued to drive to the cafe please don't let bridge be like her oh my god the the, the fucking setup for this is so good <laughs> this is so good I oh was, my gosh i was, I was not expect i was not expecting all that but dang Bro, I thought, like, when it said that he dated a hippie that went bad, I thought it would just be, like, some random person, like, no, like, right, crossover yeah, at all. Too. I was not I was expecting not Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that she left Jeff for Mike. I know, like, damn. I mean. Poor <laughs> Jeff, I feel bad now. I mean, I why. I can explain why he judged, like, um, Bridget for being a hippie and such. Yeah, I mean, I mean to be fair for Zoe, why have one bitch when you can have five? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> uh, I cannot exactly. wait to read more of this at some point. <laughs> right. This looks fun. I. Can't... It really does. It started off with a bang, and it just it just kept going. <laughs> yep. Oh. God. <laughs> So if you guys would like to read this book, I'll have it linked down below for you guys to read if you want to go read ahead. But um, now it's time for everyone's favorite subject. Well, ever segment. Sorry, I just can't English. <laughs> of us spinning the wheel of a... Uh, spinning the wheel. I, I forgot the name of ours. <laughs> I, I just okay. have it... Oh, the okay. Total okay. Drama okay. Wheel of Decisions. A.K.A. the Wheel of Doom. Yep. <laughs> Alright. A lot of ships on here. So, hopefully we get a good one. I, <laughs> I added the Duncan yes. and Alejandro. And we added Tyler and Lindsay. And then Chef and Chris. So, Chef and Chris. Let's see what we got. Yeehaw. Oh! The best ship! Gavin and Sean! Let's go! We have a winner! Yes. I hope we can find a really good one with this. And Me not something too. like too over the top like that one. Well actually that one was really good though. So it made me laugh. Yeah, I was not expecting it. 
I, I did not really Me skim. <laughs> I was not expecting yeah. all that. Me neither. It was, ac- it was actually really good, though. Yeah. Nonetheless. <laughs> This is going in my in my personal library now of, of things. Same. Same. So I guess next time you see uh, Kenzie on my screen, uh, we will be reading a Jasmine X. Sean. Yep. So I hope we find a good one. I love this ship. It's the best one from Paka 2. So, so uh, I, I guess next time, yeah, we'll read that. <laughs> yep. All right, but my name Yeehaw. is Phoenix. This this is a uh, Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>